السلام عليكم ورحمة الله الله أكبر الله أكبر الله أكبر الله أكبر أشهد أن لا إله إلا الله أشهد أن لا إله إلا الله أشهد أن محمد رسول الله أشهد أن محمد رسول الله حي على صلاة حي على صلاة إن الحمد لله نحمده ونستعينه ونستغفره ونعوذ بالله من شرور أنفسنا ومن سيئات أعمالنا من يهديه الله فلا مدل له ومن يدلل فلا هادي له وأشهد أن لا إله إلا الله وحده لا شريك له وأشهد أن محمدا عبده ورسوله يا أيها الذين آمنوا اتقوا الله حق تقاتي ولا تموتن إلا وأنتم مسلمون يا أيها الناس اتقوا ربكم الذي خلقكم من نفس واحدة وخلق منها زوجها وبث منهما رجالا كثيرا ونساء واتقوا الله الذي تساءلون به والأرحام إن الله كان عليكم رقيبا يا أيها الذين آمنوا اتقوا الله وقولوا خولا سديدا يصلح لكم أعمالكم ويغفر لكم ذنوبكم ومن يتع الله ورسوله فقد فاز فوزا عزيما أما بعد إن أحسن الكلام كلام الله وخير الهدي هدي محمد صلى الله عليه وسلم وشر الأمور محدثاتها وكل محدثة بدعة وكل بدعة دلالة وكل دلالة في النار لو برز عن سيستم تنك الله سبحانه وتعالى أن يشيك his help we ask him to protect us we be a witness he is the only one who deserves to be worshipped 
Also, we be a witness, Jalla Jalaluhu, send Muhammad as a final messenger to all mankind. My beloved brothers and sisters, fear Allah the way He deserves to be feared. But do not die unless you surrender yourself to Almighty God. Then you will have a good life in a hereafter. My beloved brothers and sisters, Today khutbah, insha'Allah ta'ala, we will talk about a story of Musa alayhi salatu wa salam al-Qidr. Musa alayhi salatu wa salam is a prophet of God. And Khidr also, some Fuqaha says, is a prophet of God. There are people, when even you deny he's not a prophet, they, you will not, never be out of the Milla. But according to some Muslim scholar also, Khidr is a prophet of God. There are people that we not agree there are prophets. Among them, Khidr is among them. Umuna Hawa, the first female. Some people say, you go to Shiyuti, he will tell you. She's, but she's a prophet or not. Maryam alayhi salam, the mother of Jesus, is a prophet or not. Tubba. Qawm Tubba, you read in the Quran, Qawm Tubba, Surah Tukaf. Some people say Tubba is a prophet. Those they say, so you to say we have to make taqaw like you have to stop, you not go beyond. But when you go deeper in the Quran, they will tell you, Hawa is not a prophet. Because God Almighty never sent a prophet as a female. Also, Maryam alayhi salam, also, she is not a prophet. The mother of Jesus. And now for Khidr, we're saying is a prophet or not a prophet. Some fuqaha, Ahlul Sunnah, they say Khidr also is a prophet. Uh, to go to the histories, we thank Allah the history is in the Holy Quran. In such, we don't have a problem of the authenticity of the story. Because Masdarul Awwal for Muslim is the Holy Quran, the story is there. And Masdar Sani, the second source for a Muslim also, is the Sunnah of our beloved Prophet. In the beginning, the story is in Surah <coughs> Kahfi. And you go to the Hadith of our beloved Prophet, you will see the history of Khidr alayhi salam and Musa alayhi salatu wa salam. <coughs> and the Hadith is in Sahih al-Bukhari wa Sahih al-Muslim. Nasul Hadith. And Sa'id ibn Jubayr, we all know who is that person. Among the greatest tabi'een, Sa'id ibn Jubayr. Qal, kulti li ibn Abbas, who was a student of ibn Abbas radiallahu anhuma. Uh, Naufan Bikali also is in among the tabi'een. But this man, he married a Jewish from Ka'b al-Ahbar. That's why he got a lot of Israeliats, meaning history from the Banu Israel. But one day when they meet, both Muslims, both students of knowledge, now say to Sa'ad ibn Jubayr, the history of Musa and Khidr is not Musa alayhi salatu wa salam, you are talking, it's another Moses. Not the Moses as a prophet, we read. And, uh, Said, he says, this is now outside my understanding. Let me go and ask a scholar. So who know better? And this the scholar happened to be Bun Habasin radiallahu anhu. He got knowledge from the Sahaba because you need the history of Ibn Abbas when he's eight years old, who used to come and pray with our Nabi sallallahu alaihi wasallam. Eight years old. But most hadith he get, he get it from the companions. Most hadith he get, usually he take Amar ibn al-Khattab and Abu Bakr as a companion. He take a lot of knowledge from the companion. That's why they say when you record the hadith of Ibn Abbas, you will say the half of hadith he get it from the companion. Like even Abu Huraira radiallahu anhu, most hadith he get it from the Sahaba. 
because he come late for the hijrah, like three years before the prophet departure to meet Allah, or four years after. Now, when they meet the both students, Said Ibn Jubair says, I'm going to ask Ibn Abbas. It is this story is authentic. Is a Musa of Banu Israel, Musa the prophet, or not? When he asked Sa'ad, Ibn Abbas tell him, Addasana Ubay ibn Ka'bid, another Sahabi, a great, a great, great scholar among them. Ubay ibn Ka'bid, our beloved prophet, says to him, if you want to read Quran the same way Gabrael read it to me, you have to read the same way that Ubay ibn Ka'bin read Quran. How great he is. He, when Omar ibn al-Khattab in Ramadan tell the Muslim to have one Imam for Taraweeh, among them he is Ubay ibn Ka'b and Tamim al-Dari alayhim ridwanullah. He says, Anni Nabi sallallahu alayhi wa sallam one day our beloved prophet tell them, Qal, Qama Musa Nabiyu, Katiban fi Bani Israel. Musa, he stood up, stood up one day and give khutbah to the Bani Israel. Wa fi riwaya li Bukhari, dhakaran nas, like people meet, and he had the opportunity, and he give them advice. Hatta iza fadati al-uyun. Until when Musa speak, al-kalamullah, people start crying. Fadakirhum bi ayamillah. And he tell them about yom al-qiyamah. About God Almighty. And all of them cry. When they cry, speechless, no speak. And he go home. While his way to his house, one man meet him because the speech touched his heart. He said, Ya Rasulullah, Ya'ni Musa alayhi salatu wa salam. Hal fil ardi ahadun ahlamu bik. Right now on this earth, did we have someone who is more knowledgeable than you? Have more knowledge than you? Do we have it on earth? Wa fi riwaya Muslim, the same thing. He says, Musa, he tell them about yom al qiyamah but when he finished, one man come and ask him, do we have a man who have more knowledge than you? Faqala, Musa said no. No one know, no one have more knowledge than me on earth. And now Allah rectify him and correct him. Allah, Because Islam yuridil ilmu ilayhi, he don't, Give the knowledge to Allah Almighty. Musa don't says no, Allahu A'lam, like most ulama says. But he tell, do you have someone? He said no. And then Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala give revelation to him. I have one slave among my slave who live where? near the Bahrain, when the two sea meet each other, or two river, or the river and the sea, they meet. That's called Majma al-Bahrain. When you go to Bahrain, that's what he's mean in Arabic. Bahrain is meaning when two, like two, Miss, Mississippi and Missouri. There are two great rivers, and sometimes they meet. Where they come, their source may be from Ontario in Canada. That's uh, like river they meet sometimes. Like uh, rivers also and the ocean, they meet sometimes. When they meet that place, that's called Bahrain. Allah tell Musa over there, when the two sea meet, or the two different water meet, I have one of my slaves over there, he know more than you. Or he knows something that you don't know. And Musa, he says, amazing, because he's a prophet of God. 
Allah is speak with Musa alayhi salatu wa salam. Allah is speak with Musa alayhi salatu wa salam in Quran. We read it two times. In the beginning when he is in Madian, when Allah tells him, Musa, what do you have in your hand? And he heard the kalamullah. And the second time in the Quran, Allah is speak with him to give him the tablets. <coughs> he speak with Allah Jalla wa Allah, and he is a prophet of God. Among also Musa is among the Ulul Hazm. We having five prophets of God among the best. The best of the best have five. Musa is among them. Of course, no one have knowledge like when he said, Allah say him, no, we have someone who know better than you. And Allah tell him, Take a fish and you put it in a jar. Take a fish and you put him in a jar or a dead fish or you make it as a mishwi. You cook it, whatever it is, and you put it in a container. And when you lost that fish, that's where you will meet my servant. When you lost it, you will miss it you lost it and then you will meet one of my ser servants. Musa have a, a valet, a boy who work with him and his name is Yusha Bun Nun. He's a prophet also. Allah sent him after the departure or the death of Arun and Musa. You read in Surah to Ma'ida Rajulani and Amallahu Alayhima is Yusuf ibn Moon and another person. That's Yusuf ibn Noon. Also, Allah sent him to the Banu Israel. To the Banu Israel. Uh, he have a sakina. Fihi alu, uh, alu Musa wa alu Harun. Yusha carry now the fish with the jar. And Musa tell him, I don't give you a job with our journey. Nothing else but when we lost the fish, just tell me. Nothing. Don't carry nothing. Your job is just when the fish escape from you, or we don't see the fish anymore, just tell me. Fantalaka. And now they go together. Wantalaka bi fatahu yusha bin noon wa amala hutan fi miktaw. Ata ida kana in the sahra. When they come near the desert or the sahra, they come now and sleep. And you, long time ago, when you travel, you have to walk, or you have to take a donkey, or a horse, or a camel. Or you walk distance, and they tired with their walking. And it is now uh, Maghrib time, it's time to take a rest. Fanama. When they uh, start to sleep, they say Musa sleep first, but Yusha, he let his master Musa sleeping well. And the khudrat Allah jalla wa ala, the fish escaped the containers. Out. Was not alive, but he's out, and now they're alive and reach the ocean and keep swimming. And he says, Oh, my master is sleeping. I will wait until he wake up and I tell him the story I just found. And they sleep until the morning. When morning time come, now Musa <laughs> is hungry. He needs food. He says to Yusha Bun Noon, now for our breakfast or our meal time is coming, can you bring me my fish and I eat? فَلَمَا أَصْبَحَ قَالَ مُوسَىٰ لِقْفَطَاهُ آتِنَا غَدَاءَنَا لَقَدْ لَقِنَا مِنْ سَفَرِنَا هَذَا نَسَبَا Musa, he start now feeling pain of his journey for all day walking, 24 hours or 48 hours. Now he feel the pain and he's hungry. Morning he asked for his meal and Yusha Bunun says to him, Araita. Oh, my master, I forgot to tell you. Is Awayna in a Sakhra? When we were resting in the desert, uh, something very amazing happened. 
and the fish for any initiated food. I forgot to tell you. But what I'm, what makes me forget is just shaitan. وَمَا أَنْسَانِهِ إِلَى الشَّيْطَانَ أَنْ أَذْكُرَ وَاتَّخَذَ سَبِيلَهُ فِي الْبَعْرِ عَجَبًا And our fish, he just escaped near the Bahrain and go through the ocean amazingly. Musa, he says, ذَلِكَ مَا كُنَّا نَبْغَ It is the thing that I was looking for when we lost the fish. فَرْتَدَّا عَلَىٰ آثَارِهِمَا the Lord says. And now you will see now the history of the fish and Musa and Qidr alayhi salatu was salam. When they come now, Yusha bin Nun show Musa for Arahu Makkan al Fod, Qab, Huna Usifali. And Musa says, This is the place where my Lord tell me you will meet my slave. When he come there, uh, and looking for that man for either who was Bil Khadir. And this man name they call him Bil Khadir because he have something green on him. Khadir Musajian Sauban. He just like when, when people go to Makkah, you, know, you put your your clothes on it. Long time ago people they, they dress like that. You have two sheets of clothes. He put one on top of him. Uh, and um, Musa alayhi salatu was salam coming to him and telling him assalamu alayka fasallama alayhi Musa, Musa. when Musa greet him fakasafa an wajhihi and he remove his veil or he remove something on his face because he cover his face fakal and then Musa when you greet someone ana Musa my name is Musa فَقَالَ خِدْرُ مُوسَى بَنِي إِسْرَائِيب Musa of the Banu Israel of the Israeli people قَالَ نَعَمْ And Musa said, yes, I am Musa Banu Israel. <coughs> and Musa goes straight now to the subject. What bring him to? خِدْرُ He said, هَلْ أَتَّبِعُكَ عَلَىٰ أَن تُعَلِّمَنِي مِمَا عُلِّمْتَ رُشْدًا Shall I? follow you or be your student and you teach me things that you get from Almighty God the guidance of your riwaya another riwaya of Bukhari when he says now Khidr tell him it is not enough for you you have Torah in your hand and it is a book from God and the revelation of Almighty God come to you and call. Then Khidr tell him, Innaka lan ma sabra. You will be not capable and follow my rules and regulation. And you will be not patient. Ya Musa, O Musa, Inni ala ilmin min ilmillah, allamani. I am in a knowledge that Allah give me and my understanding that you cannot understand. La ta'alamuhu anta. The knowledge that Allah gives me, you don't know that type of knowledge. Or you don't know my knowledge. Wa anta ala ilmin. Or you, Musa, also you are in a knowledge. Type of knowledge. That's allamakabullah. Allah teach you that. La ahlamuhu ana. Me, I don't know it and I don't understand it. Wa fi riwaya. إِنَّكَ لَنْ تَسْتَجِعَ مَعِي سَبْرَ The Rewire says, Khedr tell him, you are not able to follow me because you will gonna see things very amazing. And Musa, he says, وَكَيْفَ For example, if you tell someone, when you follow me, I will give you something amazing or you will feel something amazing. وَكَيْفَ تَسْبِرُ عَلَى مَا لَمْ تُحِبْ بِهِ قُبْرَ شَيْرُ أُمِرْتُ بِهِ أَنْ أَفْعَرْهُ إِذَا رَأَيْتُهُ لَمْ تَسْبِرْ for sure, when you follow me, you will gonna you will see things amazing that you will ask me. And I'm gonna give you conditions. The condition is you don't have to ask me. You remember Al Muslimuna Allah Shurutihim. The Muslims there are in their conditions where we meet each other, 
I can put you in my condition and you give me in my condition and you accept. Marriage are in conditions. Job is in conditions. And you respect those conditions for both parties and then meaning you are doing right. If you don't respect each other conditions, meaning ah, you are in trouble. And now, if you are Muslims, Khidr tell Musa, call for any tabatani, but I just only and shay in at the Udisalakamil with Dikra. When you follow me, never ask me any questions until myself, I'm the one who explain it to you. Fantalaha. And now Musa obey Khidr, Hadahi Salam. Yam Siyani Allah Sahil Bahar. Lay Salahuma Safina. When they come now in the seashore, what you call river bank. I'm not good in English, but I know that the seashore where they, that's called river bank also. When they come at the river bank, they found people who walk having their small boats. The Quran called them Masakin, Miskin. When they come, the people they know Khidr is a good person. And they tell him, we can cross you in the other part of the river, free of charge. How many people know you? You go in somewhere, he come and stop his car, tell you free of charge because he, he know you. And you have a, a good person, an imam, a imam coming in my car, I take you. They know Khidr alayhi salatu was salam is a good person. And now they tell him, oh, you are with those two men. Can we take you free of charge? Without charge them a price. When they are sitting on the uh, boat, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala <coughs> let a bird, a sparrow, a small bird, fly and Musa and Khidr souls, that small bird, he come and take two sip of water. Like drinking. One ship, another reward, and he take two ships of water. When he take two ships of water and fly, and Khidr tell Musa alayhi salatu wa salam, Ya Musa, do you see this, this small bird? What he take from the sea, now to give you an understanding, what the bird take from the sea is to compare your knowledge and my knowledge together compared to the knowledge of God Almighty. Like whatever the bird is take is my knowledge and your knowledge. But what's remaining is the knowledge of God. How epsilon zero billions. Like smaller, 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 infinity. That's the knowledge of Musa alayhi salatu was salam and Khidr alayhi salatu was salam when you try to compare it to the knowledge of God Almighty. Fala ilaha illallah. Yarzuku man yasha'u bi ghayri hisab. He give birds small waters. Like there are birds who come here in the United States, they don't need visa. Believe me, where they live, they live in Mexico. But when the rain falls, they come because the provision is here in America. And sometimes they take it when the season pass, now they go back to Mexico. There are birds. They fly from Spain to Africa. They don't need visa. And they don't need to pay no tickets. And there are birds who fly sometimes. Their brains working half, half. It's like an engine. When they want to travel from United States to Mexico, those type of birds, they use the brain half, half. One part is resting. After 24 hours, the other part come down, the other part come again. And they are flying. Allah man And it is just a knowledge of God. And Musa Khidr tell him, look, what you get of knowledge, and what I get of knowledge, we get it from Allah Jalla wa Allah, but our knowledge, even for all human beings together, compared to the knowledge of Allah, is just nothing. And they keep going. When they are now at the middle of the river, Khidr come and see the boat, and he take a flank of it, and he destroy a part of it. 
like people come and help you. What happened? People like you just come to your car. You see me, I come in your car, and you taking me for a free ride while you are reaching your destination and you destroying my car. Amazing. You, you that's no one will accept. And Khadr tell him. Musa look at Khidr at the end. He tell him, why you do this? People who take us for free of charge and you destroy their boat, and you want to make the boat shrink. Call now, Khidr tell Musa. Alam akul laka innaka lantastati amahi sabra. Did I tell you at the beginning? You will not be patient with me. Call. Musa says, oh, I forgot the condition. La tu akhizni bima nasit. Fakanat in ula min Musa nisyan. Because he forgot. As a human being, forgot. Even sometimes reach you everywhere and who you are. Fantalaha. And by God, they reach the seas, the other river bank. Because the river is two sides. Like, for example, this is New Jersey side. You guys are living in New York. You're having Hudson River. You're having two sides. One side is New York, and the other side is New Jersey. And they reach the other part of the of the river. When they come there, the first thing they fantalaha for ida khulamun yalab malqil man. Musa and Qidr alayhim salam alayhim salam. They see a, a young boys playing with other kids. With no question ask. Fa'akad al Qidr biraqsihi min a'la. Just Qidr come and take the head of the boys and cut it off and kill him. من أعلاه فاقتلع رأسه بيده وفي رواية مسلم فدعرا and then tell me it is no religion on earth who accept killing all human beings even you, you will find everywhere people are killing each other but it is no religion who tolerate what is killing especially innocent people this boy is an innocent and Khedr just come and, and, and cut off his head and Musa, first of all, as a prophet of God and a Sharia, he got, he tell, Akatalta nafsan zakiyatan, wa firiwai zakiyatan, bighayri nafs. An innocent boys, innocent souls.